This video is kindly sponsored by PCBWay. Thank you, PCBWay. Hey there. A while ago, I did a video about Zapparoo, which is a piece of software that lets you use an NFC reader, like this here, a USB UFC reader, with these cards or little token stickers which you can buy. And you can program these with your phone, and then you can put it on here. And if you have a Mistler connected or a C64, We'll just start the game of the software. So I went a bit further with this and uh, yeah, I did actually put one of these inside a Mr. Case. I took a peek inside this NFC reader and uh, it's right here. And before I knew it, I had a design project on my hands and the idea is to extend this cube of the Mr. Pi and put the reader in here or under here. So between this bottom piece and this top piece here. So we are going to unscrew this whole baby here and put this in. And I made three pieces and it's three pieces because it has to be, because you have to have a slot for the card here. So this is a Mr. and you just slot it in like this and if you try to print this as one piece you have no chance of getting the infill out of here so that's necessary so that fits nicely and this is where the um, the reader goes and it goes in like this because this up here is the antenna part and i had to cut the no, i didn't have to cut the cable i cut the cable by accident and then I uh, thought, uh, while I'm at it, I can shorten it because this is the back side and this just plugs into one of the back USB ports. You can do this and you can uh, go and solder this in completely, but I didn't do that. And uh, yeah, one of these standoffs broke, so not great. Let me see if I can put this back together. Yeah, it should pretty much fit perfectly because it has to. So this sits completely flat here and this goes on top of this. And yeah, that makes pretty much the difference. Didn't account for this little fella here, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so let's go and let's unscrew this. Okay, that's the top piece of we can leave, no, we can't leave these in. Oh, we have to really undo everything here. It's a very cool case. And I just took what was there and extended it. So these buttons go there. And now we can just peel this whole thing off. And uh, yeah, I have to unscrew the, the mister from this, of course. Okay, that should remove this from this. And now my idea is to just reuse the bottom part, put uh, let me see this on here, then put this on here so that this is covered and you can slide a card in here and put this, which is just an indentation for a card on top of here. And then, since we have the same holes, just screw it back in. That should pretty much be it. Yeah, that... Oh, that's bending. That's not good. Shoot, why is that bending? So I guess we have to put a card in here before we screw this in. Let's put a card in. Well, that's... Nice tight fit. The card's in, but I think it's in for good. Let me loosen the screws a little. Let's see what that does, if anything. It's still pretty tight. Let's loosen the screws a little more.
Yeah, that works, but it's still bending here. So I have two slots, which is not ideal. So for now I will leave it like this, but I will do a thicker print of the middle layer, which should result in not bending. So we can go and plug that in here. That is how it's supposed to be. Nice. I wonder what would happen if I leave the middle part out. It should still work. Hmm. You know what? We will try. Good work. If we take this away, what do we get? I think we get a better mechanism. I'm not sure. I think with a little, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so you can actually adjust how this how this works, how tight this is. That's not bad. Yeah, that works. So I'm getting rid of this middle plate, I guess. Even better. Okay, I have a mister with a card reader now. Let's quickly take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. PCBWay offers PCB production and assembly, as well as 3D printing, CNC manufacturing, and much, much more. I use PCBWay myself to produce PCBs, to get assembled PCBs like the Pi 15413, and I also use the 3D printing service on my Amigabox project, and I was very, very pleased with the results. So if you have anything you need in terms of PCBs or 3D printing, just give PCBWay a chance. Again, thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. And then I checked, I have this stack of games here. And if you haven't seen the video, these are cards that you just put on here and then it loads like Boulder Dash, one of my favorite games, or Super Mario RPG, or Super Mario All-Stars, or whatever. And you can see it's for different systems. And uh, I have two different kinds of cards here. I have these with a, which says a system and the game. And I have these that don't. And this is a new design, which is because you, in my new design, which I have here, which I show you in a minute, on the mister, I have the, um, NFC reader so that you can put in a cartridge or a card like this and it, uh, only this part sticks out. So if you have one of these cards, you don't know what, what you're looking at. And uh, yeah, that's why I added this here. And today I went and I had an idea, which is what if I want to start a computer instead of a game? So no specific game, but just a machine. And uh, yeah, the mister actually supports that with uh, Zeperu and uh, there's Zeperu script and you can use this scripting language language is a big word for that it's just a command uh, to start a specific core and that's what I want to show you in this video so let's get right to it so you have these empty cards here and if you want to go and program your um, your card here you go and you open the Zeperu app, which is here. And you have search for media, which is the way to actually go and find a game, say Boulder Dash. So you, my mister is running. So I have a connection to my mister. And so the machine can actually search on the mister. You can see there's four different Boulder Dashes, Dashy, Dash, Dashes, whatever. But that's not what we are looking for. We are looking for a system. And there's no search for a system here. But what you can do is you can go and go to user-defined Zap script. And uh, yeah, that's it's usually empty. And you can go and you can select a command, which is Befehl in German. So you go here, 
and you have all these commands which you can use and uh, you can start a random core or random game stuff like that and what we want to do is launch a system which is system launch you can see it's these two stars and then launch.system colon and then you just say which system you say system and this gets the names of the cores that you have attached or um, installed in your mister and i want to go for amiga and that's my command and then you go to write to tech and it's written on this. So if I put this card into my mister now, and I will show you in a second, it should start my Amiga system, which is uh, an A1200 with a hard disk. So it, sh it should directly boot into an Amiga workbench. So let's let's try that out. And I will go handy cam here to show you. So here you can see my mister, and it's in this printed case, which has a little yeah, defect here. It should look like this normally. Uh, but most importantly, there is this black thing on the bottom and it has a little slit on the front. And if you take this card here and you can just put it in here, it slides right in and there's an NFC reader in here. One of these here, I just uh, yeah, opened it up, has screw under the feet, screws under the feet and put the PCB which is in here, which is just a coil and a bit of logic into this foot here. And now I have a complete mister with a card reader. You can just put in the card and yeah, off you go. Very compact design. And let me show you what happens if you actually do that. Um, right now there's me on the screen filming myself. Let's go over to the mister here, which is number four. And you can already see it already has booted into Amiga uh, OS because I put in the card. Let's reset this to, to the standard screen. And on the mister, you would now go and select a computer and stuff like that. So go down to Commodore and select Amiga. But that's not what we want to do. We want to use this freshly made card. And uh, actually, let me show you. I made a few more of these and already printed labels for these and you can download the labels if you like and use them yourself. So I made one for the Amiga and the PET and the Atari 1000 XL and Armstrad. So why don't we use the PET one? So use the PET card. It's still in thingy mode here. Oh, now it's, it's gone to screensaver mode. Never mind. Plug that in here. Yeah, got the one hand. The screen went black and there's the pet. Let's pull it out, put in the Amiga. And yes, there's an Amiga 3000 on the card. Put it in, wait a sec, because, well, it has to load from, from hard drive. And it should boot right into my Amiga workbench. And there we are. Nice. Yeah, so if you set up a mister and you want it to boot to Amiga all the time, you just leave the card in. And if you switch on the mister, it automatically starts the system or C64 or on Amstrad or on Atari XL, whatever. Yeah, so that is that. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much it for this video. So thanks for watching. And by the way, Amiga turned 40 a few days ago. Happy birthday, Amiga. Bye-bye. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. If you need any PCBs, pre-assembled PCBs or 3D printing, please use the link in the description below. Thank you for watching Retro Studio Black. If you like this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you are interested in content like this, please subscribe and hit this bell icon. I have no idea if it really makes a difference, but you never know. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an algorithm, so I'm not arguing. Um, however, thank you for watching and I see you on the other side. Cheerio.